Hello and welcome to the next episode of the Crackaback series. Today we are opening up a pack of Born of the Gods. Uh, this set, actually this entire block was a little bit of a downside on Wizards End. Just wasn't all that good thematically. It was actually, I thought, a really cool idea. You know, the whole like Greek mythology kind of thing and uh, ancient gods and all that stuff. Pretty awesome. Unfortunately, the cards themselves in the set just really wasn't the best. So uh, there's not too much in the way of value, although Brimaz is up at the top, right around $15. Uh, and then I believe Xenagos, uh, God of Revels or whatever, is sitting right in second place, probably around 8 to 10. I'm not exactly sure. So hopefully we get something like that. Uh, obviously one of the gods would be ideal, but we will go through every card. And kicking off our commons, we have a Seder Wayfinder. This is actually a somewhat cool card. Uh, Retraction Helix. A Nyxborn Eidolon. A Bolt of Karanos. A Mortal's... Ardor, a Ferris Band Tromper, a Nyxborn Shield Mate, a Asphyxiate, a Fall of the Hammer, a Cyclops of One Eyed Pass, and our first uncommon is Seder Nyx Smith. We have an Unravel the Aether, we have a Dawn to Dusk. And our rare, hopefully something good, it is not. Whims of Fate, five and a red for a sorcery. Uh, starting with you, each player separates all permanents he or she controls into three piles. Then each player chooses one of his or her piles at random and sacrifices those permanents. It also mentions piles cannot be empty. Uh, this is an interesting card for a Chaos EDH game or something along those lines. Uh, if you are searching for uh, a Chaos deck, I would definitely suggest this. Red has a lot of really good chaotic cards, uh, as per the color, obviously, but it's definitely an interesting card. Not very good, not limited pickable, not constructed playable outside of uh, Chaos Commander, but hey, in there, if you want to play it, I bet you would have a lot of fun. So, um, unfortunately, not a very good pack this time. Hopefully, we'll get some better ones in the near future, but I do hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to leave a like or a comment down below. And make sure to subscribe for all of our content, including these card spotlights and podcast episodes, all of which goes up on our channel weekly. So, guys, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.